Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually get lower input latency, lower input delay in Valorant. Now, this doesn't matter if you play on a laptop or a desktop. This will work on both of the platforms. It will work on both Windows 10 and 11. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Do leave your specs down in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is actually in the device manager. So you gotta press your Windows key and then search for device manager right over there. Now in here you'll have to find firstly is the system devices. Now you'll find that right over here. Now what you're looking for is the composite bus enumerator. You'll find that somewhere over here. What you have to do is simply disable this device. This is the first device that can help you to reduce your input latency. Second one you have to find is the high precision event timer. You gotta disable this as well. This is the second device that will help you to disable your input latency. Next is the numeric data processor. You'll have to find it somewhere down over here. Now some of you guys might not have it. If you have you have to disable the numeric enumerator then the fourth one would be sm bus controller now if you do not have it like me you have to skip it but if you see sm bus controller on your device manager you have to disable that as well then you have to find network adapters and then look for your ethernet controller if you have an ethernet you'll find this if you have a wireless device or a dongle you'll find that now what you have to do is simply go over to the properties then scroll all the way down to power management and make sure that allow the computer to turn off this device to save power is turned off. Then simply click on OK and you're good to go. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 53.78 but on this sale you can get it for 21.75 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 16.31. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number two is creating a restore point since it is really essential in saving the system integrity. You need to simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then look over for your local disk C or any drive it says system. Simply click on configure and make sure the tunnel system flexion is enabled. Then simply click on create and name it input latency something you can remember it from and simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential. It will help your PC to restore every single setting back to the normal if you want to revert them without any data loss. Simply allow your system some time to process this. Once it is done, you have to simply click on close and let's move to the next step that is the Valorant input delay fix pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This is really essential. If you guys face any issues downloading this pack, you can always join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now. Once you are here, you have to open up the first folder, which is the batch optimizations. In here, you'll find some of these CMD files. Now, what you have to do is double click to run all of them. And once it is done, simply click any key to continue. Now, make sure to run all of them as administrator since some of them will require administrator permission. So simply run the second one. Once it is done, it will show you success. All of the temporary files are removed. Simply press any key to continue. Then you have to disable HPET, that is high precision event timer. We've already done it in the device manager. So if you want to do it, you can do it from here or you can do it manually. Lastly is the input delay fix batch file. It will run some CMD on your command prompt. Uh, I'll just show you guys. 
So these are the things that your PC will do in the command prompt so you don't have to do it manually. It will help you to fix all of your input latency from your hardware. Next is the keyboard latency fix. You have to find the buffer over here. Now for this, I'd recommend you guys to leave your keyboard specifications down in the comments below. So I'll tell you guys which one you have to choose from here. Next is the mouse latency registry. And over here, this will help you to fix your mouse delay. And then you have the disable pointer precision globally. This will disable pointer precision from your mouse. So this will make your mouse very much slower than it actually is. So if you're on a laptop, you will feel that your touchpad is now very, very slow. So if you're on a touchpad and you want to re-enable a mouse, pointer precision you can go over to mouse settings and then over here go over to additional mouse settings and once you are here go over to pointer options and then simply click on enable pointer precision this will enable your pointer precision but it will add input latency so if you're playing on laptop i'd recommend you guys to disable pointer precision whenever you're playing on mouse and re-enable back when you are back on the touchpad once it is done, close the input daily pack and let's move to the next step that is MS config. Now for that, you have to search for MS config on your desktop and it will take you to system configuration. Now go over to the boot section, go over to advanced options, select number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available over there. Right after that, go over to services, click on hide all Microsoft services and disable any of the service that you do not want to run on your PC. Disabling most of those services will help you to reduce input latency to the maximum level. But if you play Valorant, do not forget to check the VGC. Do not uncheck this one since it is required for your Valorant to run. Next step is disabling the startup applications. And for that, I'd recommend you guys to open up task manager on your desktop and then go all the way down to startup applications. And over here, disable as much as the applications as you want and as you can, since all of these applications boot up with your computer and this adds up to your last BIOS booting time. That means the time your system takes to boot up and this will increase that time. Also, all of these applications will be running in the background whenever you're playing the game it doesn't matter if you use them or not so disabling them will restrict the application to boot up with your pc and you can only open that application when you need it it will help you to reduce your input latency as well now next step is the keyboard and mouse settings and for that i'd recommend you guys to search for keyboard on your desktop and then open up control panel the keyboard properties right over here now over here i'd recommend you guys to keep your repeat delay and repeat rate all the way to the maximum level and once you're done with that simply click on apply then close the keyboard properties now you have to search for mouse settings over here and once you are over here you have to go over to the additional mouse settings then you have to go to the pointer options and then you have to make sure that your pointer speed is set to the sixth tick from the start. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. If it is not on the sixth one, you have to drag it back to the sixth one. Then as I suggested you guys, you have to disable pointer precision whenever you're playing Valorant since it adds a lot of input latency whenever you're playing the game. Now I recommend you guys exit lag to reduce your ping as well as input latency. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of any type of input latency and packet loss so you can download this from the website. Now once you open this application up it is really simple to use. You have to search for Valorant from a list of thousand games to choose from. You can simply look up for Valorant, choose your nearest game region and then select the advanced routes within my country first. Then then simply click on apply routes and that will give you the lowest amount of ping and lowest amount of packet loss. This will help you to tunnel your internet connection right to the game servers which will help you to reduce all of those jitters. Right after that go to the tools section, go over to FPS boost, enable the first, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option and that will help you to reduce your input latency drastically. Now exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using it. But in the current Black November sale which you can access from the link in the description below, you can get 2 plus 1 month free or 12 plus 3 month free on the annual plan. So you get 15 months. So if exit lag helps you out, consider getting a subscription from the link in the description below. It helps me as well. And let's move ahead. 
Next step is deanimating your windows and for that you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Once you are over here, select adjust for best performance and click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. That's all you have to check from this list. Then simply click on apply. This will remove all of the unnecessary and unwanted animations from your windows and it will help you to reduce your input latency. Once you're done applying all of those settings, you are good to go. You'll get the least amount of input latency in the game. If this helps you out, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, we have introduced channel membership. So if you guys want to support the channel, you can always get the membership. Members will be highlighted on the channel homepage. So if you want to support me out, get the channel membership. I'd really appreciate that. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.